A couple of weeks ago, I was browsing the Arduino forum on Reddit, and I came across a fellow who was new to Arduino and was wanting to make a prop using some pink LEDs and some other things. And I, I was giving him some pointers on choosing LEDs and stuff, but I thought if he's actually that new to Arduino, maybe he needs a little help with some setup and programming too. So while this is directed towards that fella, um, it could be useful for anybody who's new to Arduino and wanting to learn about, you know, doing some functions and multiple states. So that being said, what we have here are six ultra bright five millimeter pink LEDs, and they are each plugged into one of the PWM pins on this Arduino Nano. That's plugged into the anode of the LED. The cathode is going through a 180 ohm resistor to ground. Then over here we have a button set up. One side of that button is going to digital pin 4. The other side is going to ground. And finally we have a potentiometer with one side going to ground, one side going to positive, and the wiper coming over to pin A7. So all of that put together means we can have multiple effects within the LEDs and switch between the effects by pressing the button and control the speed of the effects with the potentiometer. So let's hop on over to the computer take a look at the code, then we'll come back and I'll show you the uh, little project in action. All right, so here's the code. I'm calling it Flexible Light Effects by me, Learn Electronics, January 23rd, 2017. And hey, YouTube says I now deserve my own YouTube channel name, so www.youtube.com slash c slash learn electronics pretty cool all right let's start off with a couple of defines you'll notice there are no includes we're not using any libraries here the first define is our pot pin that's for our potentiometer and it is set to analog 7 next is button set to pin 4 now we have some variables our integer weight, which is the variable delay, our integer pot, integer state, old, PWM, and button pull. I think I even didn't use a couple of these. Next, just for a reminder here, these are the PWM pins we have available to us on the Nano and the Uno pins 11, 10, 9, 6, 5, and 3. So our setup, other than setting the button to an input pull-up and the pot pin to an input, everything else is an output. All of our pins are outputs. And then we're going to do a random seed. And the random seed helps you pick an actual meaningless number for the random number generator. What it's going to do is read the voltage on analog zero. Since there's nothing connected to it, it will be floating at some arbitrary voltage. All right. Next is our main loop. And we're going to begin the loop with a little delay of 100 milliseconds. Then we are going to read the potentiometer, analog read of A7 and we will map our delay of weight from that pot read that pot variable from the ADC reading of 0 to 1023 to the PWM numbers of 0 to 254 next we will go through this little debouncing routine here to read the button I did a video on that. I'll link to it below if you don't know how to debounce your buttons. And then we are going to do a switch case to pick and change our states. So, 
case one will be a function called randomize, case two will be one called go in, case three will be one called go out, and case four will be a function called Larson2, which is a variation of the Larson scanner LED routine, which is also may be known as the Cylon or the Knight Rider. So our first function is randomize, and basically what we're doing is we are picking a random number from one to seven, and depending on which one of those numbers is chosen by the random number generator, we will light that LED, then we will wait the amount of time controlled by the um, potentiometer, and we will turn it off. Pretty simple. Next we have go in. So it starts from the outside, turns on pins 3 and 11, waits for the designated time, turns them off, waits for the designated time, and it goes all the way down until we get to the internal, the uh, inside of those pins, which are pins 6 and 9. Then we have go out, which is the opposite, starts at 6 and 9, ends at 3 and 11. And our final function is the Larson 2 function. And what it does is it starts at the bottom. And it starts at a low value. So the LED will be dim. Shoots it up by, a very, by adding 10 to it every time. Then it starts at the top, 254. And shoots it back down to 0. All right. And does that for each of the pins. And that's the program. Now let's go take a look at it in action. All right, here is our first function. This is the randomize function. And it is about at 50% speed. We can slow it clear down. And then we can speed it up. All right, next up is the go in function, I believe, right? All right, there's go in. Boy, is it moving. Let me slow it down. So there we have go in. All right, there we have go out. And of course we can speed that up a little bit. Or a lot. And we can slow it way down. And our final function is the Larson scanner. All right, finally we have the Larson scanner. And this is it in its slowest mode. We can crank up the speed and put it in its fastest mode. So that should give you an idea about some programming techniques you can use and a little bit of the hardware set up for some kind of special effect stuff. If you like this, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and comment, share it with your friends. Don't forget the giveaway. Better subscribe. I'll see you next time.